Hello, everyone. Welcome to Gateway Theater. It's behind me. We can't wait to have you back in the building, but we're so, so excited to be doing paper theater kits with you today. Um, my name is Jasmine Chen. I am the writer of Hallow's Eve, and I'm also the artistic and community producer at Gateway Theater. And I'm super excited to introduce Keely O'Brien, who is our lead designer on our paper theater kit. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us and joining in on this project. Today, Keely is going to help us put together our paper theater kit. So you should have received it. It looks like this. And you've got all these magical flat pages, but pretty soon it's all going to be three-dimensional. So Keely, what do we need to put this together today? Okay, so we're going to need our scissors. We're going to need a glue stick. We're going to need a ruler. And it would also be a good idea to have an X-Acto knife. And of course, if you're a kid, make sure that you're asking an adult to help you with your X-Acto knife. I don't have an X-Acto knife today, so I will be doing the scissor option. Keely helped us label all of our pages so you can cross-reference the letters on your pages with your instructions. Okay, so the very first thing that we're gonna do is cut out all of our pieces. And you can tell where to cut by looking at where the solid lines are around the outside, outside edge of each piece. And there's also a little scissor icon on your paper so you can see exactly where to cut. So let's jump in. We're gonna start cutting out A and we're gonna work our way all the way through the alphabet. So you'll notice that some of your pieces, specifically A, C, D, E, and H, have slit lines. And maybe Jasmine can hold up hers to show you because hers has it marked really well. Yeah, so they're in this hot pink color. Yeah, so it has a little scissor icon. So we're actually going to cut up into our piece. And I'm just gonna cut right up to the end of that line. And it's gonna be like this, open. So we've cut out pretty much everything for our theater. You'll notice that some of your pieces have dotted lines. Like for example, these backdrop pieces have dotted lines. So anywhere you see a dotted line, there's also lots of little dotted lines on our little floating set pieces. Anywhere you see a dotted line, that means fold. And when you're folding thick paper like cardstock, it can be really helpful to score before you fold. So scoring means making a dent in your paper using the edge of your scissors or the edge of your X-Acto knife so that it folds more easily at that point. So we're not wanting to cut all the way through, we're just wanting to press gently with our scissors or X-Acto knife to make just a dent in the paper that will be a guide when you go to fold it. So I'm gonna do a little scoring demonstration for you here. I'm actually going to just tilt my computer down so you can see my table. Okay, so. You're going to take your ruler and line it up with your dotted line. And then if you have an X-Acto knife, that's great. You can also do this with your scissors. So if you're doing it with your scissors, you can just open them like this and then run the pointed edge along like that. You're just kind of pushing down with that edge. Or if you have an X-Acto knife, you're just running the edge of the blade along. And you just want to, you want to push just hard enough, you're making a, a line, like you're making a dent, but you're not cutting all the way through. Once you have your score, it's going to be a lot easier to fold. Fold along that line. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and score all of our fold lines. It works pretty well with the scissors. Just a little note, if you do by accident push too hard and cut through, don't panic. Just take a piece of scotch tape and stick it up on the back and it will be just the exact same. And this one should be folded forward? Forwards, yeah, that's right. So it's gonna look like this. Oh yeah, that's so much easier. Yeah, so for this one, we're gonna fold everything forward. Fold it forward on this one. All right, so once we're done folding, we're going to move on to gluing. And I think this would be a good time for me to turn my computer down again. So the first thing that we're going to glue is right along this tab. Glue right to the edges of the tab. And then we're going to line this up. We want to make sure that fold line is straight across. 
And as you can see, we have our one continuous background for our pumpkin patch. So once we have that glued, we're going to put glue on all three of these tabs. Okay, so now I have glue on all three tabs. I'm going to grab my floor and I'm gonna line it up on the center tab. You wanna make sure it's really lined up. You want these corners to be right at the corners of your backdrop. I'm gonna fold it up. You might wanna just like give it a little squeeze like this so it's, so it's vertical. And then we're going to carefully swing the sides around so that the tab goes under the floor. And once it's under the floor, give it a good press. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Ah, <gasps> here it is. So now I think we can go ahead and add our tree arch. And we're going to slide these slots that we made onto the upstage slots of our backdrop. Upstage means closer to the back wall and downstage means closer to the front. Just gonna slip in there. Make sure you slide it so it goes right down to the bottom of our tree arch. Lovely. So now we can grab our proscenium and we're going to do just the exact same thing on the downstage slots. So I'm just going to slide it on. <gasps> okay, so now I have my little um, trap door. So I'm going to score right along that dotted line. And then you're gonna fold it forward. Now we're going to put some glue just along the top edge here. And then we're going to glue it right onto our stage floor so that it's covering up our very sneaky trapdoor. Okay, so now we can surprise our audience with a trapdoor reveal. Oh. Now we're going to score and fold our little floating set pieces. So. Each one has a little dotted line either side. So for these, we're going to fold our tabs back like this, and then they should actually just stand up. If yours is tipping over, you may not have cut the bottom perfectly straight. That's the thing that makes it stand up. So now we are going to move on to our puppets. Front and back. Yeah, and make sure you have your puppet sticks handy. So we're going to flip over one side of the puppet. Maybe I'll start with my skunk. So I'll flip over one side of the skunk. I'm going to put glue all over the back. Then I'm going to grab a puppet stick and I'm just going to lay it so that it's coming out the top of my skunk. So that when I pick it up, it's going to be like this. And then I'm going to grab my other skunk piece and I'm just going to sandwich it. And then my little puppet skunk can walk and turn and walk the other way. And then we'll just repeat that for the rest of our puppets. We're gonna score the dotted lines on our two backdrops, folding these two flaps forwards. Nice. Scored and folded these forwards. We're gonna grab our graveyard backdrop and we're going to just slide it in behind the tree arch. So suddenly we have our graveyard. And then of course for this one, you can add your dead flowers, the great Sabuki Cemetery. And then for the next scene, our characters head over to the Haunted Mansion. So in order to do this set transition, we're gonna take out our backdrop and we're also going to take out our tree arch going to slide in our haunted mansion art. We can grab our haunted house background and we will slide it right into the very back. And of course we have our carpet for our spooky haunted house, armchair with a little spider friend living underneath it. Oh my goodness, I think we have fully assembled our paper theater. Yeah. I think we did it. I hope that everyone at home has as much fun with it as we did. 